Today we are going to answer the question, how far will a 36 volt golf cart go on three $80 Walmart deep cycle batteries? I pulled this golf cart behind me out of a barn. It has not seen the light of day in over 10 years. The battery dates are from 12 years ago. This cart is very typical of a lot of things that you would find, especially projects like you or I would get it into. Something that's free or cheap or you found it in a barn and you need to get it back moving and you want to do it on the cheap. Well, this cart belongs to my aunt and well, unfortunately her husband just passed away and she has a 40 acre farm and she just wants to go up and down the driveway, maybe take some feed to the horses, uh, with a hitch or something and she wants me to get this thing functional again She thoroughly enjoyed it before but my uncle backed the tractor into the metal barn where this thing was stored and well It kind of boogered up the doors and I had to jimmy the doors open and and I winched it out of there uh, So she's got a limited budget and you and I do too and we're gonna throw in three $80 Walmart deep cycle batteries to, and range test it and see how it does and then when that's done we're going to charge them back up and we're going to switch to six eighty dollar batteries which is still exponentially cheaper i mean have you guys seen how much golf cart batteries are they're so expensive i think the trojans for this car were over a thousand dollars we're going to test three batteries i've seen people do it i've seen people talk about it but i've never seen anybody say how far it goes before we get into it let's show you what's in the cart already and then after that i'm going to show you how to wire three batteries for 36 volts. Uh, you could easily do four batteries for 48 volts. You'll figure it out real fast. And then I'll show you how to do six batteries for 36 volts. Come check it out. Here's what we're working with. Overall, this cart is not that bad, but you could tell that this thing has, well, it was taken care of at one point and then it's just covered in, in dust and in barn dust. You can see my kids have been sitting here pretending to drive it um we just got to bring this thing back around it was covered in wasp nests and dirt daubers uh these things will cook your batteries they definitely will overdo it so we're going to swap that out for a new smart charger with bluetooth look at these batteries so this is a mess these are date stamped 12 2010 it is currently 11 of 2022. These things are shot, but look, even the cables are bad. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna put new cables on it. <clears throat> we're gonna get rid of, these are the watering style batteries and the deep cycle batteries that we're gonna go to are uh, relatively maintenance free. That was another complaint she had was she was, she didn't know how to maintain it. Let's get these hoses cut off, yank these batteries out. I'm gonna wear gloves because that is battery acid is everywhere. This rust oleum rust reformer is some good stuff. So I've got it on here. Let's see how well these batteries fit. They're supposed to fit great. And check this out. This is why I went with the 24DC because it is exactly the same size width wise as a GC2, a six volt battery. So I'm gonna get these set in here. I'm gonna see if this has got enough metal to support the weight of the battery. I think it does. Uh, so we should be good. Let me get these set in here. Here's how we wire these batteries. We're going to have 36 volts and 36 volts. Let's only look at one side at a time. If I were to hook this positive, this positive, and this positive all together and make a line, and I hook all of these over here on the negatives and make a line, and they're all connected, this would be a 
parallel connection because you've got all the terminals running parallel to each other. When you run parallel, you keep the same voltage, but you increase amperage or capacity. When I do it this way, negative to positive, negative to positive, what I have done, I've put these in series. So you start from the positive, you're going through the negative to the positive, to the negative, to the positive, and then out. So if I measure from this terminal to this terminal, with three 12 volt batteries, I'm gonna get 36 volts. If they were parallel, I would get 12 volts, but I would have three times the capacity. Here, I have the same capacity, but I have more voltage. So same amperage, more voltage. So I have got 36 volts here, and I put 36 volts here. After our test, is I'm gonna connect take this positive put it on this positive and this negative and put it on this negative and what that's going to do is it's going to give me two banks in series put together in parallel so i'm going to have 36 volts and 100 200 300 amp hours and when i put this together i'm going to take this 36 volts with the 100 200 300 amp hours and I'm going to put it together the positive lead for my cart and my charger will go here the negative lead for my cart and my charger will go here check it out we're on three batteries we're at zero miles full charge let's see how far we go and I brought tools to hook up the other batteries so that when I go dead I can at least switch it the tires are flat sided because from sitting so long <laughs> That's uh, half a mile, and we have no drop on the meter, and that's just on three batteries. Let's check in later. All right, you're gonna have to recalculate your weight and distance. Um, I have a hitchhiker. We've made it 1.8 miles. We're doing 14 miles an hour, and our battery meter has not dropped a bit. looking pretty good so far uh, I'll check in when the battery meter starts dropping picked up another vagrant we've dropped one bar and we are at 2.3 miles here comes a car so I'm gonna get out of the way we have been 4.2 miles and we've dropped another bar we are at 4.2 miles and we've only dropped uh, we've dropped to the third bar. You can see the flat spot on the wheels because this thing sat up for so long that the cart's bouncing. We're winning. Just crossed six miles. And we dropped, and we dropped another bar, so we're still above half. And uh, Mama says it's time for dinner. If you're considering putting new batteries in your golf cart and you're on a budget, I'd uh, very much consider getting these. You have to buy them at the um, the auto center because otherwise they're not gonna have them. I said we keep going in the morning, see how it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and take more laps. Good morning. We are back on the Redneck Range Test. When we left, we had done 6.3 miles. Let's see what we can put down this morning before I get back to work. This is actually a pretty big hill we've got to go up. Hills really will kill your battery. We're rocking it three or four bars down. We're not even halfway. 
neighbors think I'm nuts. These batteries are doing so much better than I thought they would. We're two miles from the bay and 8.6 total. We just dropped the half. Um, we're still hitting 13 miles an hour on the on the on the uphill. I'll report back. We are crossing 3.7 miles for this morning. That makes it 10 miles total so far on this charge with the three 12 volt batteries. We're definitely slowing down a little bit on the uphill. We are a half charge. We're at a half charge. All right, we're hitting seven miles an hour. I don't know if we're, I don't know if we're gonna get another, but we're dropping fast. I think this might be the end. Just have to go over there to my house, get out of the road. We're going too slow. GPS to register. Oh, there it goes. It says we're going four. I think I'm gonna make a few passes on this flat street. We are at 3.9. We'll add that to the 6.3 from the other day. This thing is not happy. This thing is done phenomenal. Done for. I think. I think we should call it. It's four miles today and 6.3, so that's 10. 0.3 miles I'd say that is more than sufficient for most people uh, it's definitely gonna be, do well for what I need uh, but we are gonna hook the three 12 volt batteries together with the other three 12 volt batteries and we're gonna make um, a huge bank of 36 volts out of all of those I'm gonna see if I can sneak this into the driveway and uh, get a charge in these batteries 10 miles is pretty good, I think. Um, there's a few factors that made this less. First off, I have one speed, which is all the way. Um, I think that if you were to go slower or have more brakes in between driving times, and if you weren't pulling so many hills as hard as I was, uh, I think you could very easily exceed that 10 mile range. So budget rebuild, I think it's on point, 240 bucks. Go buy yourself some Walmart batteries. Now this is just an initial range test. Who knows how long they'll last. For $240, I can replace them at least four times before I get anywhere near what they wanted for the Trojans. I think this is a win. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it went with your cart. Catch you on the next one.